Well, those opening scenes were a little bit better than yesterday, weren't they? A little bit happier. Well, I'm going to show, show you the garden today. Um, but before I do, when I was dreaming of my little croft in Scotland with my land, I always pictured that I would have a, a crumbling old outhouse on the land somewhere. And um, well, it just so happens can't do it this way. Up there is a crumbling old outhouse. Many people would think it would be an eyesore. I think it's hilarious. I'll show you it properly as, we, as I take you outside, which is what I will do now. So this is my garden. I'll take you around for a little walk. In a second. Okay, we've got start from this side. Little stone path. And here I'm starting to take it all out because um well this is I guess this is a going to be a portage kitchen garden yeah it needs to have the, the vegetables I'll go over there in a minute it needs to have the vegetables um, and the flowers and the herbs the prettiness the relaxation the the washing needs to hang on the line I'd like to feed the birds it has to do I've got fruit trees it has to do an awful lot of things in this space um, I do like how flowers cascade down down both sides of the path so I will be working with that keeping some sort of flower possibly herbs here I will be taking one of these out like I have done in this bit here um, because this is where my strawberries and my um, raspberries will be going will be going in these bits these bits here so maybe some herbs on that side maybe some herbs on that side um, I have dug out this little part here. This was all over, all overgrown, just like it is up here. Um, hydrangea here. I don't know what colour it's going to be, but we'll hopefully, we'll, maybe we'll find out by the end of the month, by the end of the 30 days. Um, I quite like a hosta here because that is a, it's an east facing fence um, and it only gets a little bit of sun on a morning and that's pretty much it, especially in this area here. Um, I'm going to stay in the fence a brownie colour. So if we come up here, up my steps that I will fall over, I've already, I kind of like, you can imagine I do everything at quite a pace and I, I do go, do, uh, yeah why did I do that okay let's just ignore that so I have I have already dug out this part and um, at the back of the garden I found this that needs staying in uh, a trellis it's still uh, it's still um, sturdy and we have cut some some off at the edge where it was all broken but you would never know that once it gets once it gets on the fence and i have just bought a clematis for three pound at will cause so that is going to go up here and i have the rest of the vents to clear and this border needs to be cleared because all the way along here I'm going to have, David's going to build me, um, let's show you, so you can see my little veg bed here, that's just temporary, that was made from, <laughs> that was made from um, someone at his work was throwing his old decking boards in the skip, uh, not, not in the skip, what am I talking about, 
he was setting them on fire he was burning them <laughs> so, so david said i'll have them so they're literally taking out flame and burning boards out to, to just make me this temporary temporary little veg patch here these are me the things i've been grown from seeds since since uh february march time as soon as i had the offer up I accepted on the house i started to to grow some vegetables so see back in the corner so i'm going to have that bed is going to stay in that position but it will be twice the height because i can't grow carrots or parsnips in that it's too shallow so i need need it a little bit higher and then all around the perimeter where you can see that there's the false grass here that will be uh, raised beds there'll be an entrance around about here and there'll also be an entrance here um, with an arch because I have I have a grape plant that I would like to grow on that there this season at least will have um, chamomile chamomile grown from it uh, I like I like to have some chamomile tea so that's what we'll be growing there turn you around so this little bit is a lovely if not overgrown herbaceous border oh there are my strawberries they will be going on the other side of the astroturf astroturf fake grass okay so this is my herbaceous border and I love it it needs work and I will put some things I will pull some things and put some things of my own in um, but round the back up some more steps through here this white vigilia vigila can't pronounce it w e i g e l a brimming with bees needs a lot of work this i think it's run away with itself but um have we got a bee on probably haven't i probably said it's brimming with bees oh there's one hello mr b So through here, at the back of that herbaceous border, is it's quite shaded because we've got the Fatina um, Red Robin here as well. The sun, um, it's a south facing house. I wasn't making fairy gardens when Lucy and David were busy um, stripping wallpaper in the house a few days ago. I wasn't at all. This element here, I do put some um, shaded plants up here uh, because it's in shade. I will try and gravel this. Now I did have, you see over there, that stool. David made me that um, a few years ago. Made from uh, it was it was wooden packaging that some of uh, the work kit came in, and he brought it home and he made it into a, a stool for me that's here from the house so this would be like a little a little wooded a little wooded garden and um, I've got a buddleia here that I want to plant that's mine I found that I'll probably put that pyrus in there's a little conifer there all of this needs clearing out I will shape that shrub I don't know what that shrub is just yet um, and, and shape the neighbours' trees a little bit as well. So that's this area. So if we come back round, squash through the bees, and then up to the back of the garden. And this is where the chickens would have been if I was able to have them. Um, so the plan so far, and this all might change, but the plan so far is for me to have the shed there and then they would build me a greenhouse here and hopefully room enough for compost heaps here and this, although it looks like a very scruffy mound of nothing, being a gardener, I have a feeling this is piled up i haven't been digging in it have i 
And I have a feeling this is piled up turf from when they've put that false grass down. So I think this is gardener's gold. I think this will be loam. And I um, have top dressed the bits where I've already dug out down there with it. Um, <clears throat> I will be putting this. I will be putting this into the bottom of the raised beds when we build those in a couple of weeks time and yeah so this is where that uh, trellis was on this on this fence line here it's quite it needs a lot of work up here it could have been worse but it does need some work and then this area so the vision here is just a vision because it is a long time away. This whole back bit where the shed is and beyond. We're hoping to build a summer house, an off-grid summer house, where we can relax, um, scratch that itch that we had about living off-grid maybe. Um, it's a long way away, right at the bottom of the list. But if we're able to achieve that, then this area here, I would love if we can take out this, this walkway. I would love a little pond, a little pond and this bit. I have a, an acer at home and I just think we might shade, uh, shade, kind of disguise the shed and the greenhouse a little bit with some trees and shrubs and plants and just plant all around all around a little pond so that's that's what I'd like to do really uh, I'll take you around this is the old shed I had hoped to save it but sorry I tripped over the um, the, uh, the false grass I had hoped to save it but it is rotting and at the minute it's full to the brim with bags of loft insulation that we've had to take out in order to get the electrics in and then oh, we've lost focus that's it and then this side is um that's insulation that's bags of rubbish really we need to we need to discard those that's no good i don't know why but it's been deemed as being no no good by david when he's when he's pulled it out here we are, there's the mess from the other side. Actually, yeah, there's all sorts in there. It could have been worse, couldn't it? It could have been worse. So, I have never had a conifer hedge. I do have a trimmer, but I have no experience of using trimmers because I, an electric trimmer anyway, where have they gone? I usually use, because I've only ever had a very small area, I usually use most things. So I'm a little bit apprehensive about ruining the shape of this hedge. I don't think I'd, I don't think I'd like it to be square. I'm sorry, I had a, a little coffin fit again. I don't think I would like it to be square. I think I'd like to try and keep it rounded somehow. I do believe that's elderflower there. And there seems to be a climber, a clematis of some sort there. We'll see what that is. And then here there seems to have been another herbaceous border, but it's looking a little bit worse for wear. Don't know what that is. It looks a little bit like a campanula. A tall campanula. We'll see what, what that flowers to be. It looks a little bit squashed. We do get the cats in here, I do believe. I, before I I managed to, that, that grass was really very long and it looked like there was places where the cats had been sleeping. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the real lawn and it's suffering because it's had its first cut of the year and I've had to hack it over and over again just to get the the, the growth down. So this is a herbaceous border. <clears throat> I 
my plans are here oh, another hydrangea my plans here are pretty much to keep this cottage garden very I'm really keen on having a beautiful aspect of the, the flowers and a, a wildlife haven for the pollinators to work hand in hand with with the vegetables and things i have an apple tree i have two apple trees i have a gift from my friend that has moved all over the place with me that is having its rightful place in the middle of the lawn there it's getting a nice patch cut out for a nice round patch and it's going to be well looked after finally there and then another apple tree in this corner this one the, the other apple tree was just a uh, the supermarket bought apple tree um but they're, they're pollinated they have pollinated each other really well this year so it's it's, it's helping my favorite one here and i also for mother's day i was gifted off david and the girls a um plum tree a victoria plum tree so this will be going here somewhere so that is that this side apart from staying in the fence cutting the hedge and um just maintaining really this year and um, all my focus will be on bringing this side up to scratch simply because I need the greenhouse, I need the shed and I, I desperately need my um, my vegetable space. Uh, we, all, we all know why I'm keen on getting some vegetables going and because these beds will be coming, the raised bed here will be ending at the end of this false grass because that's going to be made in the next couple of weeks I really need to get all of this out at least cleared I'll keep that because it's a, sh a shrubby area so this this will be planted with shrubs um, I'll try and save what I can move what I can but it's kind of the wrong time of year to be to be moving perennials really I need to clear all this ivy off and stay in the fence in preparation for these beds going in there will be a barked path running down here as well as the, the shrubs so I will have access but it's pretty important that this is my my focus ready for these raised beds going in and um, I do want to get that hedge trimmed right back because um, I don't want to let it grow anymore and end up cutting into old wood and then ending up with a, a brown hedge <laughs> so I'll just take you down here that's my lavender finally finally got a home it will be coming out of the pot um, I pro probably will go here and um, those pots there of just what I've collected from around the the property and as you can see my garden bin is already full <laughs> and this is oops focus that's it and this I think that is a rose I'm not sure I'm not a rose gardener And that's it here. And a load of rubbish that hopefully tonight, if we can get a van home, we'll be going in the skip. And that is the alleyway down into the front. That's the clematis I've just bought there this morning in Milko. If it will show up, what's it called? Princess Diana. And then this is the view. Why is everything not focusing? That's right. That's the view from my kitchen window. And you can see our friend. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> I can't. 
It's really difficult. Do it that way. No, it's still... Yeah. <laughs> There's our friend, the old crumbling outbuilding. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow when we will be getting on with some jobs.